Welcome to the lesson three of the corporate explainer animation course. And in this lesson, I'm going to share with you how to prepare your illustration file for animation in After Effects. And the technique that we are learning in this lesson will be even useful if you are planning to download an vector illustration from Shutterstock or Freepik and then later on animate it in After Effects. Also in the previous lessons of this course, we have learned five stages of how to come up with a unique idea for your animation and then how to design an animation friendly character in Adobe Illustrator. And you can get all the files, assets and illustrations that we will be using throughout this course from our website that is linked in the description. And before moving forward, make sure to hit the like button and comment down below. That will help this video reach out to a newer audience and that is also one way you can support this channel. So without any further delay, let's dive right into the layer separation process. So if you have downloaded the open file from our website, this is the folder structure you will see. Inside the main folder, you have one AP file inside which we have the After Effects open file and then we have the illustration folder inside which we have all the illustration files and inside the layer separated we have all the illustration files with layers separated but right now we will use these files. So let's start with opening frame number two. So now we will separate the layers of this illustration in such a way that we can directly import this illustration file in After Effects and start with the rigging and the animation process right away. So this is the layer inside which we have all the elements uh, of this illustration. Select this layer, then click on this three dash button, then click on release to layers sequence. Now select all this layer inside this layer, drag it outside. So these are the layers of the background. Let's turn off the visibility. Yep. So we can simply click and drag it and drop it here in this empty layer and let's name it background. Now let's open this layer and let's select this layer inside this and let's drag it and drop it outside and let's delete this empty layer. Let's select this layer and let's again click on this three dash button. Then again click on release to layers. Now let's select all these layers inside this group and click and drag it outside. Now we can delete this empty layer. So this is the chair layer. Let's name it front chair. So naming of the layers are very important because uh, if you import it in After Effects with this uh, this naming convention, you will get confused which layer is which one. So that's why naming the layers inside Illustrator is very important. Now the next one is this laptop screen. Now I'm going to name it like LC for left character underscore laptop screen. Next, we have this hand layer. So let's double click on it to get inside the isolation mode and let's ungroup all the layers that are grouped together. And then let's select the hand, then Ctrl X to cut and paste it in a separate layer. So next is arm and the forearm. So let's select the arm and Ctrl X to cut and paste it in a separate layer by adding a new layer, then the forearm. So let's rename this layer as LC underscore arm one. LC for the left character. So I'm denoting this character as left character. This will be the right character. And like this, I'm going to give a certain code for each character so that I don't get confused when I'm importing uh, so many layers together in After Effects. Sorry, this one was hand. Then the arm and then forearm. Then turn off the visibility of these layers. Now for the face of the character, I don't want to uh, animate the eyes or the mouth or even the shadows. So I don't need the each and every element of the face to be in a separate layer in After Effects. So I would keep everything in a same layer. So I can select all of this together and select it. Just keeping the back here separated. Control X cut and paste it in a separate layer. So let's delete this extra layer. Now let's select rest of the body layer. Let's deselect the extra selected layers, even the hair layers on the back. And let's name these layers. And keeping the these two shapes of the hair in a separate layer because the design is uh, done in a such a way that 
if I keep it on top of the body, it would, it would look weird. But at the same time, I want it back of the body. I But I also want it to move with the head. So I can easily pattern this with the, with the head layer in After Effects so that everything is attached together. So for that, let's name this layer once again. Okay, now let's separate this second hand. So let's ungroup forearm with the hand. And now let's select the forearm, cut it and paste it in a new layer. Let's name it. And then we have this laptop keyboard. So let's name this layer again. And let's delete these extra layers. So like this, I will continue separating rest of the elements of this illustration. And at the same time, I will keep naming each of the layers with its with an unique name. And now with this, all the elements of this illustration is separated in an individual layer. One more thing, I want to separate this UI layer in a separate layer. I mean, I want to import it uh, as a separate illustration file because we already have a lot of layers in this illustration file. So if I separate each and every element of this UI in this illustration file, the number of layers are going to be too much to handle and to organize in After Effects. So for that, I will just simply copy it and open a new illustrator file. For that, the shortcut key is Ctrl plus N. Click on Create and paste it over here. Now we can ungroup it. And let's check if we have anything else grouped. Yeah, this one is. So let's ungroup this one. I think everything else uh, should be properly released from outside the group. Now we can select this layer again. Click on this triple dash button. Click on release to layers sequence. Now all the layers are separated. And just delete this extra blank layer. And that is it. You can save it to your destination and you are ready to import it directly in After Effects and start with the animation process. Okay, now these illustration files are completely ready for directly importing it in After Effects and starting with the rigging and the animation process right away. But before that, we already have a lot of layers uh, inside a composition or inside uh, each of the illustration. So if we start animation right away, we are going to get too confused by managing so many layers in a single composition. So for that, we have to properly learn how to manage a project file or an animation file before starting an animation so that you stay organized from the very start. So for that reason, we will learn how to set up your After Effects file for animation projects, especially for complicated or complex animation projects like this so that you can stay organized from the very start and you mainly focus on the actual important thing that you need to work on rather than managing so many layers. So that's the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.